Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how did I draw this, this uh, wheel or tire um, for my kid, he got a car without one tire so I drew a new one and 3D printed out so that he could play okay, uh, I will not gonna draw it again I just quickly go through the steps, how did I do that and basically show you the results <clears throat> Okay, let's get started. As you can see, there are many steps involved, um, which each do some kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I draw this in a Fusion, non-commercial version, and I did it uh, within two hours, I guess. I will delete these extra ones just to know where to return. Okay. So the first I have blank screen, that's okay, that's normal. And I have my physical object which I want to draw, but I want to draw similar as it already has. Uh, for example, the wheel on my car. So yeah, I have to do some measurements and I use this ruler to measure every single thing I draw. And uh, yeah, and uh, then I start drawing. So first I I t make a sketch so uh, here you can see I made the circle and this is the center of the wheel I started from the center so I measure what is the inner and the outer uh, side of the center and then I extracted <coughs> exactly how long the tire will be so this is yeah uh, next I go for a uh, outer center basically the this is the front uh, and uh, this is the center uh, which will be facing the outsides of the wheel <coughs> yeah and and then I extracted uh, so that it starts to shape a little bit and afterwards I drew a circle Okay, this tire has a uh, interesting middle, so I wanted to do similar as it originally originally has. So and then so I did, and the result ro looks like something like that. I hope you can see. Yeah, there is this middle is on top, and then there is curvature over here. And this curvature actually I do with the three features basically I drew these two lines one uh, over here one over here in the middle and basically I did uh, the outside uh, let's call this feature uh, fillet yeah I filled this outside uh, uh, part then the middle one and then this uh, part which is from starting from this one and here when I click on each uh, feature I could also see uh, three millimeters for this one so uh, 2.75 for this one and this is all approximate because uh, and 1.25 for for the center okay <clears throat> so this is just a, a center uh, for the wheel and the uh, the, the the place where the where it's sticking to the car so yeah next one I draw this uh, outer circle and populated with the uh, body so that uh, also um, it starts to look a little bit like a tire and here I drew on one side this um, uh, these two um, lines and did one millimeter tick. I also use a uh, ruler to measure the degrees for like I, I create a line over here and measure degrees over here and over here so I so that I could uh, draw exactly like it was an uh, original model and what I did next I just draw this once and then I populated with this feature called over here called uh, pattern and circular pattern 
this is a really nice feature you just use this one select the feature you want to populate select the object uh, well this, that's the, basically the feature and select the X axis and for X selection I use one simple trick I select axis then I disable body and then I use or choose the X which I want to populate this is very convenient because when you have a body you can click accidentally on on a face or an a sketch or something like that so that's why I disable the body for a moment and then I populate the what I need to populate so yeah so and this is actually a very very useful feature you will see in future this is really really time saving stuff okay so next one yeah I do the stuff for this central uh, center so I wanted to make similar like similar similarly like the original one so I look on the features and basically uh, yeah and this is the final result which kind of looks similar what I have already on my hands but um, when I printed out I saw that it's not quite exactly but it looks it's a similar fashion let's just, let's just say that so yeah and I really like how how it turned out so basically I just need to color it uh, the center and I had to do so many steps over here for this um, um, fill it the uh, feature on the sides because I could not populate with this um, circular pattern and that's because there was some kind of <coughs> offsets or some kind of miss um, uh, uh, yeah some kind of offsets over here and it doesn't uh, give me er an error in each time so I went went through all the uh, individual details like by hand so I had to do this that a uh, few times already and yeah and finally and this is the yeah and this is the center with the middle so this this took me uh, quite a long time because um, yeah because of these parts I had to manually adjust the, the, the all the uh, like sides and everything how it does it look and also and also to just measure the the, all the stuff here and here and see how does it turn out and so on yeah and then so and this is just the middle and this uh, two middles basically the the wheel and the, this, this stick let's just call them stick so yeah and then then I did one interesting thing so I had to uh, draw a uh, other side of the tire which is this uh, outer side and then I did like that I draw a sketch like that like uh, I choose a middle part to just uh, determine how thick the tire will be and then I drew it this line and why did I do that so I use this uh, uh, revolve feature also and here I populated this sketch and now it starts to look really like a tire yeah and as you can see it's quite simple and easy to do this uh, and very fast without some extra steps and also I can really really smoothly bend the sides with this um, ah we now have to go into sketch mode okay I will go into sketch mode so I'm using this thing to bend the sides uh, you can do it like that and then you can adjust how much do you want to bend right um, and here uh, at the beginning it was a bit curved but then later on I find out find out that I could not uh, this side could not be bent so that's why I just made it straight line and I do this with this line tool also you can use shortcut just L and and then it gives you the, the line option yeah okay 
finish sketch <clears throat> so yeah so uh, moving forward next sketch is also quite interesting what I did there um, I'm not sure I could not remember what I did there and here comes the part when I draw something uh, ah yeah basically I want to why I want to draw on the sides this um, texture which usually tires has some kind of texture over there so that's why I try to draw this one but as you can see here it draws in the middle so in order to get it outside we have to use this tool called construct construct plane so basically when I click on that I can uh, move this um, this 3d plane basically you have X Y and Z uh, and also the planes and I can I can move it away from the central point so that I can draw on the sides and this is exactly what I did next I just move it over there as you can see it's already the I move it the plane over here and then I start to draw uh, this pattern over here yeah and then I was spending some time to just uh, cut to the uh, basically I was using just this extraction feature extrude feature and I was try to extract to into the tire but then I googled and I found that there's a quicker way how to do this and it called it is called um, emboss yeah so and uh, you can see I did that and and because of this feature emboss I need a flat surface if it's curved it cannot cut through it I don't know why it's maybe some uh, some thing for the for the fusion maybe in other programs you can do that but in fusion you cannot we, basically I cannot do that so yeah but my problem here actually I was so into this drawing I really for forget about this <clears throat> about my physical physical module so basically I was uh, in this feature you have two options basically you can sell how deep you want to cut uh, the sides face everything um, that, that's fine but basically there are two options whether you want to f cut or you want to extrude this um, on the side um, yeah and as you can see it's really nicely that my drawing is is straight like out from the side of the of the tire but what I like about this um, feature called uh, emboss does it bends your drawing uh, well aligns and bends as your side so this is really nice but yeah I was using this cut feature uh, and this was bad because I cut into this um, basic this this material and this is bad because my tire now is getting thicker uh, thinner sorry thinner than it should be so I should instead of this I should use this one but what's done already done so yeah and here um, I cut it through and also I use this nice feature I populate it and now I have a really smooth pattern over here and I do that two more times because um, <clears throat> as you can see it populates over the flat surfaces but here when the sides are bent uh, it doesn't go through so I did one cutting over here and also so here and then I populated all around it and now I have something really really beautiful over here as you can see it really start to really look like a tar I did it that for the other side as well I did it uh, this exactly the same thing and if you wonder how did I cut it mm, at the beginning so 
it was really simple I just uh, put it a tile like this I click on this face and then use extruder to just cut it like that and that's basically it and then I populated with this um, pattern circular pattern and yeah so uh, yeah I already told about this now and uh, my tire looks a bit really really similar but all uh, the difference is that this is going straight not bended but it doesn't it does I doesn't I don't care about this uh, because it's really really similar so next thing I did was uh, I drew these lines over here for circles I also do the same emboss on that as you can see I extruded those two out and uh, I don't know can it be seen over here I simply uh, also made that they are not like um, uh, well the sides are bent a little bit that's that's really give this a nice nice look and also I did populate with others and also I populate this feature this uh, this final feature where it where it's really smooth surface finish uh, yeah the next thing I did was the same on that side and those two things again so that it really starts to looks look like a finished tire so um, next thing I did was yeah uh, and here in the inner part you can see that there is um, no ribs or no other structural material with hold this uh, middle center over here so I did that also as I have in my original tire over here one thing is though I could I could draw it up till here so that it will be stronger because I lose this little 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 um, side over here this little um, well basically it broke off this little end because it doesn't have any support material over here and I did uh, exactly what I did before I just used this pop this uh, circular pattern to draw on bo both sides and yeah this took me an hour because I didn't know of this emboss unfortunately uh, it, it saved me a lot of time uh, and also I was struggling with the center here especially with these uh, these lines over here it was quite as you can see here I was <laughs> doing a lot of bending and a lot of stuff over there so yeah but eventually I'm really happy with the result I'm really satisfied as well as my kit despite the fact that this tire is few millimeters thinner as it should be originally but um, at the first I thought I just draw one uh, well I draw one but I thought I just print out one and I will use it as a replacement and everything will be fine but afterwards I, I realized that okay I can print out two and replace two tires and it's like completely okay yeah <laughs> and um, so and now yeah now I will show you how the model looks on real life so as you can see here this is the tire I already has so very similar what I was drawing but instead of the top top yeah <laughs> so yeah as I explained before I should use extrusion then cutting but other than that it's really great yeah in final results you can see this is the my printed uh, replacement and it's quite the same just a bit smaller but it doesn't change anything actually everybody is happy including me and my kids so uh, and inside in terms of size in the middle everything is uh, is is really precisely as it was an originally but the side yeah so if I want I can basically print another version but it's fine it's okay 
So yeah, this was really small project, useful and uh, educational for me because I didn't know some features in uh, Fusion. I haven't used it for a few months, but basically I was really happy at the end and satisfied. Uh, yeah, it took me one hour to draw it actually and one hour to print it out the one tire and in a, in a fastest mode in Ender 3 Pro. Pro. Uh, but in slower motions, uh, it was a bit longer, like two and a half or something. Yeah. Hope you enjoy it and see you next time for for uh, next video. And now I will say you goodbye and great day.